Well, hello everyone. This is your English teacher, Sir Sanjay. I welcome you all to yet another session of YouTube. If you remember, in the last class, we discuss the poem called "Granny, Granny, Please Comb My Hair." So today we'll continue with Unit Nine, but we will start afresh with a new lesson. Okay, what is the name of the new lesson that we are likely to start? Not likely, we will start. The lesson is named the Magic Parish. Let's find it out. Okay, where the lesson is? Just hold on a moment. Here we are. See, the name of the lesson, like I said, is the Magic Parish. Okay, so magic. If someone casts some sort of spell, it is called magic. Or if it involves something different. It also could be perturbed or termed as magic, isn't it? Parij. What is Parij class? Parij is an eatable. Do you know oats? The class. Do you know oats? Yeah, oat is also kind of eatable. No, we can we can uh, let's say if you boil oats with water, it becomes Parij. Okay, Parij can be made with other things also. Now, what is pot? Like you can see uh, at uh, page number one forty eight, there is a Tiny girl holding on to something. No, so this is an example of pot. What is this pot? Okay, I believe we are clear with title the magic parij pot. So this pot will have something magical about it. All right, this pot will have something magical about it. Let's read and find out what will be magical about this pot. I believe everyone is ready. Now, in order to see the text clearly, what you can do is you can open a book alongside if you want better visibility. Otherwise, if the quality of the video is fine, then you you may continue. There is no problem at all with that. Okay, give me a moment. So I'll tell you yet another thing so that you know. See, class, this story is nothing but a folk tale. Okay. Folk tales are tales popular in a particular city or a state, and is usually told by one generation to another generation. You are too young to understand the word generation. Let's say uh, your father's father, your grandfather, and then uh, your father. These are two generation, and then it's you. You are their third generation. Okay, so. Folk tales are passed on from generation to generation. So, without any further ado, let's do the reading. The magic parij. Let me zoom it up so that visibility is clear. See, there is an old lady, isn't it? And then there is this young girl of your age. Here we go. Once there was a little girl named Tara. She lived with her mother. They were very poor. Here we are. Okay, so once upon a time there was this little girl. This is the girl we are talking about. This little girl was named Tara. What was the name of the girl? Tara. Okay. She used to live with her mother. They were very poor. Class, if you are poor, you struggle with basic necessities. You cannot afford. A lot of thing, alright. So, Tara lived with her mother, and they were very poor. Okay, so let's continue reading. One day, she went to a forest. Forest is a place with lots of trees, and uh, it's jungle. No trees, animals, and everything will be there. So, what did Tara do one day? She went to a forest. There she meet an old woman. You see the old woman in the picture, no? So one day Tara goes to forest and then meets with this old woman. This is Tara. She goes to forest and one day she meets with this old woman, like you see in the picture. Okay. The old woman gave her a pot. She say, "This is a magic pot." It will cook for each for you when you say "cook pot cook." It will stop making for each when you say "stop 
spot stop okay so tara's mother not tara's mother there was this old woman no this old woman what did she do she gave her this spot and then what did she say she told her that it was a magic pot what kind of pot was it it was a magic pot she told her that if she uses this pot and then says cook pot cook what will happen is the pot will start cooking magic parij on its own and then if she says stop pot stop what will happen the pot will stop cooking parij on its own okay the pot all in all was magical now what happens let's continue reading so tara was very happy here we are tara was very happy she ran to her mother and said mother we will no longer be hungry as i have a magic pot so tara was very happy she said you know mother we are never going to be hungry we will have lots and lots of porridge to eat because now i have a magic pot okay who said this to whom tara said this to her mother okay so tara said to the pot what did tara say to the pot cook pot cook and the pot cook porridge class wonderful no as soon as she said cook pot cook the pot started cooking porridge her mother was very happy and they both ate porridge her mother was also so happy because now they don't have to worry about getting hungry and not eating you see tara is happy no so they were happy and they started eating pot now there will be a twist what will happen one day when tara had gone out her mother felt hungry tara had gone out keeping the pot at home so her mother was feeling hungry so she said to the pot cook pot cook the pot started cooking porridge all right class the pot started cooking porridge as tara's mother said cook pot cook you see there is this lovely picture something wonderful is happening here okay after eating it her mother said do not cook pot see it was not do not cook no she used the wrong code class now something will happen she used the wrong code okay she said do not cook pot but the pot went on cooking it went on and on it kept cooking and cooking and cooking soon soon the porridge starts spilling on the floor spilling means falling on the floor the porridge was falling on the floor because to stop the porridge we need to say stop pot stop no she said do not cook pot that is wrong all right so soon the porridge start falling on the floor mother called out again so mother calls uh, out again and said wait do not cook any more she said wait wait do not cook any more she is using the wrong word again but the pot did not stop you see the porridge is all on the floor it spilled no everywhere this white picture that you see is all nothing but porridge okay this is all porridge you see little children holding the plates and enjoying no so this is an example now let's move on and see what do we have okay but the pot did not stop mother ran out of the house and parij followed her so mother was running out of the house to the street parij followed her soon there was parij everywhere on the street as she moved out there was parij i i like here no i've shown you the whole village saw it they ran to eat the so everyone ran and then they were eating the porridge everyone was so happy so when tara came back she saw that the road was full of porridge she ran she ran home as fast as she could she heard her mother shout tara the pot is cooking and it will not stop so her mother was panic no because the pot was cooking and cooking and cooking and was not stopping so as soon as mother sees tara mother shouts tara you see this pot is not stopping okay so tara called out stop pot stop and it stop cooking porridge okay there's a lovely small tale 
all right it's about using the right code see tara's mother forgot to use the right code what was the right word she should have said stop pot stop she said do not cook no so this is the conclusion of the story class okay what we have learned tara lived with her mother she was very poor no so one day she went to forest and then there was this wise old man uh, old woman she gave tara this magical pot okay and she said whenever she felt hungry she should say cook pot cook and then stop pot stop when the porridge was cooked okay so one day tara's mother started cooking and used the wrong word and everyone at porridge uh, around okay so conclusion of the story is here now there are some new words we have learnt in this story what are the new words let's find out one of the new word is magic i told you what is magic no if something is magical different from usual let's call magic cook if you um, let's say if if you me soften a food using fire and all let's call cook what is parij i've told you if something falls on the ground let's say this is an example of spilling whole means entire village is a place where people live no so these are the words we have learned see tara's mother is so scared now Parij is cooking and cooking and cooking and spilling. No. Now let's quickly take a look at the exercises we have here. Okay, first one is reading is fun. Where did Tara go one day? Tara went to a forest. Went to the forest one day. Okay, Tara went to the forest one day. What did the old woman give Tara? The old woman gave what did she give a magical pot to tara what did she give she gave her a magical pot okay so what did the magic pot cook very simple class what did the magic cook pot uh, magic pot cook the magical pot cook for each what did it cook it cook for each no who said do not cook pot who said do not cook pot who said it mother no tara's mother then next what do we have why was there so much porridge on the road there was so much porridge on the road because tara's mother said do not cook pot instead of saying stop so that is how it works so now let's see So let's see further exercises. It's about let's talk. Okay, this is promotion of interaction among students. Okay, what's it about? What do you eat for breakfast? It depends on people. You no, know, some uh, people prefer milk, bread, some fruits. No, would you like to eat with uh, with porridge? Yes, why not? So have you seen any magic? Tell us about it. See roadside, uh, roadside shows and all. Many people may have seen. No, so what do you call magic in your own language? What do we call magic in our own language? You may write it in your own. In Hindi, magic is known as or called jadu. No, jadu. Okay. So let's move on. Now let's do pronunciation drill. Pronunciation drill. Okay, I'll be reading this word aloud. You just observe how to read them and then practice along. Okay, pot, dot, caught, hot, caught, bot, dot, fought, cook, hook, book, took, boon, soon, moon, spoon. Shall we repeat? very simple pot dot caught hot caught bot dot fought cook hook book took so boon soon moon spoon all right as easy as you like it so read them on your own again 
Now there are more exercises. Let's write. This will promote and encourage you to, you know, write things. Okay. So fill in the blank with A and or the. So when you reach higher classes, you will get to understand that, and that these are called articles. I will not give you detailed lecture on this now because video will be lengthy otherwise. Okay. So what's it about? Fill in the blank with A and or the. Once there was a beautiful garden. Okay. Once there was a beautiful garden. The garden had an apple tree. Okay. The garden had an apple tree, an orange tree, and a guava tree. This is apple, this is orange, and this is guava. Right. In the garden lived a big giant. The giant did not like children to play in the garden the giant used to eat just a second class the giant used to eat a fruit every day from the garden it is not a here class the giant used to eat the fruit. Okay. But he did not share this fruit. He did not share this with the children. No, why the? Because we are talking about children who used to come to his place. So, his garden dried up. You see, he was selfish. No, his garden dried up. Okay. That's it. Now, what building? Look at these letters given below and make words with them. Very simple. The letters are K, P, J, T, M. You can make any word. Okay, K for kite, K for anything. There are lots of words. No. Kept. P. Play. Push. So, so on and so forth. You try and make the, uh, make the rest on your own. Now, let's eat. What is it? It says your mother makes delicious porridge. Would you also like to learn how to make it? Ask your mother or an older person to help you. Okay. So what are the things you'll need in order to make porridge? You'll need milk, porridge, sugar sugar okay so all the methodology on co cooking parij is being described here do self-reading on this one okay and then what else do we have imagine it is your friend's birthday you are presenting a bunch of balloons to her to decorate in her party these balloons are your friendship balloons choose a name for each from the box and color them okay so see very simple these are the words caring, sharing, kind, friendly, helpful, forgiving, truthful. Write them and then present it to your friend. Would you like to tell a class a story about any one of these balloons? Yes, truthful. Let's say my the name of my friend is Ram. He is very truthful. He is an honest person. We read in second standard. He is a kind and honest person. Honest boy. He shares his stuffing with me or not. Okay. Now what is this? This is about loving grandfather. First one says, Every, let me zoom it up. Ever since grandpa fell down and sprained his arm, he has changed. This children are saying. Okay. Now he says, He has become very quiet. He does not even speak to us. Alright. Grandchildren are talking. He keeps sleeping the whole day. He is very sad. Okay. He does not even go out. Now what will the children do? Grandpa loved to go for works. He loved to do his exercise. 
we must try to make him go for a walk with us and do some exercises in the park lovely children no so now they brought grandpa to the park he says i can see grandpa's friends let us talk to them thank you my children for taking grandpa your friends are here talk to them while we play they have missed you thank you my children for taking me out in the fresh air it's been a long time i have been with my friends for a while okay so this is a little uh, you know moral story wherein we see moral sketch sort of thing wherein we see when elders face their own share of problem little children can step forward and help them okay that's it very simple other than this we have more exercises read the picture story aloud okay reading is fun take the right answer grandfather sprained his leg back arm of course the correct answer is arm no grandfather loved what did grandfather loved he loved eating walking sleeping of course he loved walking no grandfather missed his food books exercise he missed his exercise right so before grandfather fell after grandfather fell before grandfather fell grandfather used to go for walks now he does not go for walk grandfather used to talk now he is not talking grandfather met many friends now he does not meet with many no so very simple okay finally we have handwritten practice class practicing handwriting is quintessential